It's a dangerous world we live in. We need to make sure our children are safe on their own streets. We need to be prepared for the next time a monster comes into our town. Or maybe it's too late. Maybe neighborhood Steve isn't neighborhood Steve after all. Did that seem odd to any of you? Who the hell's neighborhood Steve? Neighborhood Steve. He appears to be an average guy, but he has a dark hidden secret. It's, it's part of our new campaign strategy. Let's cut. Why are we using neighborhood Steve when you have a real person in jail at our disposal? Wallace, we have to wait for the trial. The success of your campaign is really too dependent on if they have the right guy. It's well known. You're the one who called it in. They have plenty of evidence. You can't possibly know that. We're gonna do it my way this time, people. Let's go. Speed. Camera rolls. Take two. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. It's one of the more unfortunate facts of life. Our hearts still rest with the Jacobs family. The loss of young Michael just tore their lives apart. And though we may never see that young man smile again, we can sleep better tonight knowing that the killer will soon be put to justice. A vote for me is a vote for your child's future. Together, we can make sure that the man next door is nothing more than Steve, your neighbor. And cut. Okay, great take everyone. Neighborhood Steve is supposed to be a negative symbol. My dear, don't be shy. Let's get some stuff with the two of us. Sweetheart, sit right over there. Are the children here yet? They're coming after lunch for the second commercial. And their parents? Their nanny's bringing them. This can work for us, actually. And you, my dear, just think about the beautiful trip we're going to take after winning the election. So, where are we going? I seem to remember a certain island you want to spend some time on. Hawaii? 